Good evening. Um, my name is Michelle Hunt Porter, and I'm a parent with two children that attend Pittsburgh Obama. Um, I'm here to talk a little bit about um, Coach Neron Jackson, assistant basketball coach for Obama Academy. I'm sure all of you are already aware of the incident that occurred on February 1st after the Obama Allardyce basketball game. Due to this incident, Coach Jackson was terminated abruptly. Our players and parents began lobbying, lobbying immediately for his position to be reinstated as we felt, one, because he didn't do anything to deserve it, and two, the boys needed him. His reinstatement took place on Wednesday, February 7th. At this time, our supportive parent base felt that the incident had been put behind us and we could all move forward. However, a few weeks later, uh, due to the February 1st incident, Coach Jackson informed us that he had been served with papers from district court and was being charged by Pittsburgh Public School Police and Security with disorderly conduct and failure to disperse, both of which are misdemeanors. As an involved parent, it's important to me that my children are with positive people and involved in positive activities. I've known him for many years as he's worked with my son through basketball since he was in the sixth grade at Frick. Most of that time he spent with the kids, he's done it on a completely volunteer basis. To me, this is more than just basketball. Coach Jackson has served as a mentor, a brother, a father figure to many, if not, if not to all of our young men. The plus is that he is a Pittsburgh Public School graduate, former Shinley High basketball standout, mm -hmm. making it easy for him to identify and relate with the kids. He's not only an asset to the Obama Boys basketball program, but he is a positive African-American male role model. He's someone willing to give back and money nothing in return but to help the young men succeed. I don't know about all of you, but he's certainly the type of man that I want in my son's life. If I didn't feel strongly about his innocence, I wouldn't be here. He's positive to the program and to the growth of the basketball program. Coach Jackson did nothing to deserve the erroneous charge that were brought against him, and it is my hope that all of the facts associated with the incident are looked at fairly. I hope that you, the board of directors, are aware of the facts associated with this situation and realize that they are untrue. We're looking forward to him remaining in his position as assistant coach for many years to come, and I wish to know that he can go in with a clean slate and with his name being cleared. Thank you. Thank you.